Hey, I'm Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. Norm, we are here at Digital Experience. As you know, that is a Nokia Lumia 900. 900, that's one eighth better than what you have in your hand. This is the 800 right you here. You suck, Smith, you I have know. 800. Look how small it is, oh, better it's tiny. Too. Cyan. Yours is definitely a better color. Mm. Uh, tell me about this phone, Norm. So it was just announced today. You know what the best thing about this? What about this? LTE. Ooh, that it's means it's fast. Yeah, it's on AT&T. Okay. So not only is it LTE and coming out in the US, mm -hmm. that's not out in the US 800. It's much bigger. Is it real LTE or is it the HSPA Plus stuff? It's real LTE. Oh, nice. 4G LTE on AT&T. That's fantastic. Yep. It's also a lot bigger than the old phone. I oh, mean, yeah. markedly larger. Yeah, so the old 800, and I say old, it only came out in October, November. Uh, it's 3.7 inch screen. Yeah. And this one has a 4.3 inch screen. It's the same resolution. So they're both 800 by 480. They're super AMOLED, right? Super AMOLED with what they call clear black. So apparently okay. it's low reflection. The, it's brighter without using more energy. Yeah. Who knows? It could be marketing lingo. But my worry was that with the same resolution as the 800, the text would look fuzzy. Pixel density problems. Yeah. But if I go into Hotmail, I think it looks fine. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's, it's, uh, it's definitely a larger screen. Uh, it's pretty close to the edges of the glass. It's hard to tell with the black background. Uh, I, it looks really fast. It's 1.4 gigahertz Snapdragon, just like the uh, Lumia 800. Yeah, I don't know if it's actually Snapdragon. It's made by Qualcomm, so uh, yeah. Implied. Single core, 1.4 gigahertz. <laughs> and so LTE is the first big feature. Second big feature is the size of the screen. Yeah. Third big feature? Optics. Optics, more glass. So let's see. On the back, I'm going to flip it around so you actually read it. That's a lot of glass. Carl Zeiss. It's an 8 megapixel sensor, but it's also an, an aperture f22, 28 millimeter. I don't know what don't that means. I know what that means. Wide angle, wide aperture, good depth of field. Great depth of field. And this has a front facing camera too, right? Yeah. So the pre previous one did. And the front facing camera, it's only 1 megapixel, still also wide angle. Okay. And it's an f24 aperture, which is why. There's, they did like a, a demo today at an earlier press conference. Well, they showed uh, some uh, some webcasting or live streaming with a yeah. front facing camera. It looked pretty good. So does this mean I wouldn't have to put a lens on the camera if we were driving in the van and wanted to live stream? You always put a lens. Fish, always. This shot never can never be wide enough. Good to know. Yeah. So uh, it comes in a 16 gigabyte capacity on the inside. Okay. And 512 megs of RAM, which obviously does, I don't think it matters that much when it's when we're not talking about yeah. iOS or Android. This is Windows Phone 7. It's tuned. Yeah, Mango, obviously. And Nokia has a couple unique apps. So you get Nokia Drive, right. which you tested. On yeah, it's not very good, but an early version on the one that we tested out. So it could be different now. And then they also have an ESPN and CNN exclusive app. Okay. Here. And do they have Nokia Music in the US as well or not so much? I don't think so. No. no. Interesting. Anything else you want to talk about? Uh, it looks like the USB port's on the top, micro USB, of course. Yeah. It's got a SIM card slot because it's an AT&T phone. It has the dedicated camera button, uh, just like all Windows Phone 7 phones. Uh, I, I'm really excited about this phone. It is a big, giant screen. I mean, just compared to an iPhone 4, it looks like performance is probably okay. But compared to an iPhone 4, that's as a case on, it is a lot bigger. Uh, I'm excited about this phone. I can't wait to get in the lab and test it out. So they haven't announced pricing or availability. Uh, Stephen Elop had specific language about availability. They said in impending months, but guess what? I'm gonna put, put an egg bet on March. By March or in March? I'm gonna say second half of March. Last two weeks of March, you heard it here. Uh, this is the Nokia Lumia 900. We'll be back with more stuff from CES. I'm Will. I'm Norm. Bye.